Another pointer here, a, a white with brown spots down there. Okay, got these a are true to size. Yeah. Okay. And uh, we got another one here and then two dog carts. Uh -huh. Dog carts there and then there's the other pointer. Uh -huh. So you get to know, even if, without any biographies of Caldwell, you could figure out he loved animals and... Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. But the family, hopefully, if they get here, they can shed more light on all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. They, um, you know, I think a lot of them are still in shock. You know, because. Oh yeah. That somebody discovered all this. Well, again. and they're the, the, the reappreciating them uh -huh. again. So when I when I um, downloaded the obituary to see mm. if there were names, uh -huh. and they mentioned grandchildren, uh -huh. and then I. I searched the white pages, uh -huh. found the names as close to that, called and said to say, hi, my name is Solange from the museum. Are you guys the folks related to that guy that carved? <laughs> you know, my husband is, wow. you know, and then all of a sudden Harlan Osborne, who has an article, um, uh -huh. a column every, every other Thursday tooling around, he interviews the old timers. Nice. So he came and interviewed uh, Larry Caldwell and um but you know that's the thing a lot of them they forgot they don't think about it anymore because it's like pff, it's old stuff and then all of a sudden it's like yeah. look <laughs> we care i know we want to know <laughs> i guess things go in cycles but sometimes they're just totally forgotten for yeah yeah history. Or, or you think yeah. who cares yeah well that, yeah. you can't use it on a phone so nobody's interested on there you know it's oh. that kind of a... and museums have been closed down now for the last couple yeah. of years yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So we were hoping this was, you know, get kids uh, interested in, in folk art about right. it. What you can do with your hands, not an app. Right, right. <laughs> now, do you get school kids over here much at all? Uh, you know, because of COVID, tours yeah. just isn't. Yeah. Now, I have a, um, a ninth grade intern that comes in and volunteers after, and he, he got the photograph piece because uh -huh. we're still doing inventory. Uh -huh. So little by little. Mm -hmm. They're uh, appreciating. Mm -hmm. it. Let's go back to the beginning. I didn't uh, this video that uh, it was. This was something else. Okay. This yeah. Um, yeah. This is just part yeah, of our okay, permanent exhibit. Okay. Okay. Where did we start again at the beginning? Um. Start here at the entrance wall. Okay. We're just backtracking here. Okay. So, kind of starting with the introduction about what folk art is. Here's Caldwell uh, William yeah. Emerly whittled his figure. He worked for PG&E, and so when they retired, he retired. Uh, they wrote this wonderful write-up on him. I'm gonna start this.